you're in the market for a used car, we may be able to help. 11 News anchor Sherry Williams takes a look at the practice of assuming someone else's car lease. That's in today's Saving Sense report. The monthly notes on this 335i BMW dropped low for computer engineer Bernard Sim. He got a good deal by picking up the lease on the car after a woman in Humble wanted out of her deal. She had a three-year lease term. Uh, she had the car for about a year and a half. Sims met the seller of his dream car through a website called leasetrader.com. Lease trader buyers say they save hundreds, even thousands of dollars by using the site to get cars instead of going directly through a dealer. That you don't have to pay those initial fees, they can knock down your monthly payment. By assuming someone else's lease, Sims saved about $4,000 in down payments alone and about another 30 bucks on his monthly lease payments. He pays about $5.50 a month. Now, we know how buyers benefit by assuming someone else's lease. This lease trader walked us through how sellers benefit. I was paying in the 400s for my lease, uh, but now I'm not paying anything. I just recently got engaged and wanted to save some money. Turns out breaking your car lease costs thousands of dollars. So getting someone like Sims to take the wheel is a good deal for everybody involved. The lease trader folks handle the paperwork, but it's not a free ride. The buyer pays $188 in fees. The seller pays $238. Sherry Williams, 11 News.